let's release you from this stomach issue. Touch the. Look at me. Wow. You won't do oppression again. Amen. You won't be sick again. Amen. Can you stand up? Can you stand up? This thing is living you now. Look at me. Look at me. This thing is coming out. It's coming out. It's coming to me. I destroy it in Jesus' name. Everything they put on you must come out. Come out, you my sister. In the name of Jesus Christ. Leave my sister in Jesus' name. Come out. They look alike, is it? This one is free. It's free. She stay, she stay here. No. Where do you stay? Madame Lel. You, you are sleeping here? Yes. Yeah, you can make it time if I can go place, you can go, you can go. Amen. Uh, I want to release this lady come. I want to take some people out here. Look at me. I'm in touch here now. There's no stroke here. That hand. You demon. What are you doing there? What do I mean? Come on. You demon. Out. Out. In the name of Jesus. My name is Kenilo Slako. I am from Habron, Botswana. I didn't know about this ministry, Charis. I was praying to God because I was facing a lot of attacks, spiritual attacks. And I asked God, who can help me? And the name Makananisa came out. So I went on Google, Googled the name, and they, I got the, the addresses to say, okay, if I take a flight, I have to give the Uber guy address. <coughs> so I came in, the flight left, I missed the flight. So I went to the, the taxi rank to take a, a combi. I took a combi, I arrived here on Friday around 11 a.m. in the morning. So I, I managed to book and got into the church. I went to the church service. I went to see men of God one on one. I went and saw the men of God. The men of God told me that your spirit has been fighting the ashes because the spirit doesn't want you to be delivered. So you are from a chieftains where they, they worship idols. So when you were born, you were supposed to be a boy so that you can take over from the great grandfather to take over and start worshiping the idols. But it, you became, because of, because of the grace of God, you became a girl. Now the Spirit of God has been inside of you and you've got six stars. <clears throat> and because this Spirit is trying to hide your future, it, it has exchanged your future, given people your future, and now you are living the life is, that is not yours. The snake comes, you, you keeps on changing. You change into a snake, a dragon. When people see you, they see a snake, a, dra a dragon. Everyone hates you. I said, yes. But by the grace of God, the man of God delivered me and told me that uh, my business that I'm working on will, will pay and he showed me an envelope that when he sees me like this, he sees a milo, a bilonier, I'm going to live in a, one of the prominent uh, places in my country and this will not take long. And, and I, I've been working on a business and uh, the one lady was refusing to, 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 
to 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 let it go like it has been approved but she was refusing to release it so that i can start working on my contract but um, i'm grateful because the man of god told me that when he sees me he sees man when i'm coming back to testify and he also told me that uh, this spirit when it realized that i'm not a boy they wanted me to be a prostitute he said that's why the spirit took you to a prostitution hotel because that's why well, that's where you should be you should be a prostitute so I thank God for my life. And he also spoke about my son. I have a son. He's very smart. He's, he takes position one. The, the man of God doesn't know my son. The whole school, he goes to General Habron International School. He takes position one, maths and science. He's the best student. He's six years, but he pulls on himself. So the man of God, I mean, since he was young, this, he just pulls on himself like that. And because of that, it, it's given my son a low self-esteem. He, he doesn't socialize. But the man of God told me that, no, it's because when you were giving birth to this child, you said to God that I'll give you my child. And that is what it was in my heart. I didn't tell anyone. So he said to me, when I get back home, I should lay my hands on my son, Jaden. Then this thing, this this shame will leave my son. I just want to thank God for everything. I just want to encourage everyone, everywhere they are, that, you know, we go through a lot of things. But before we take a step to go to any church, let us consult with God. For me, it, it, is, it is my first time here in this Midrand. It is my first time in this place. I consulted. I kept on praying and fasting that God should locate a man of God to help me. Because everyone is everyone hates me, including my daughter. She hates, Everyone hates me, even my mom. And the man of God told also confirmed that your mother left you when you were one month because you were supposed she, she she had an agreement with idols that she's going to give them a boy but you came out to be a girl. So everything that he she he said about my life it's it's it is true and I believe that maybe because the spirit has gone now, my relationship with my mom will come and because I'm the only girl at my house, but my mother doesn't like me, my father doesn't like me, both my parents are alive, they don't even call me, they don't even talk to me. So I believe that from here you know, my life will change and my mother will see, will miss me and see me as a, her own daughter. I thank God for my life. I thank God for this place. I thank God for the grace that is upon the man of God.